Now we're going to try to find the sciatic nerve. This is the big nerve that has, will have an effect on the whole leg, right down to the foot. The sciatic nerve starting from here is actually two nerves running right close together or in the same sheath even and they look like they're one nerve but they're actually two. And when they get here it's not a division it's just that the two diverge away from each other. So here you have the tibial nerve and you have the peroneal nerve but and they run up together as a tibial and peroneal nerve all the way up. So luckily if we stimulate either the tibial nerve or the peroneal nerve we will get a motor response. What does the sciatic nerve supply? Or you can get contractions of the hamstrings, you can get uh, most contraction of calf muscles, or if you're getting the tibial component, you will get a plantar flexion of the foot. So the foot will do this, it will do that. Okay, so and if we get the peroneal compartment, the foot's going to do that, it's going to go out. Right. So let's see if we can find, so going down there. Look, there we go. Now, where is the popliteal fossa? We'll ask her to try and lift her foot against my hand, against resistance, and you can see there's the one strong tendon, and there's the other a tendon there. Those are the two tendons of the of the hamstring. If you follow them up, there they go. Follow them up. There's that one. That one. That one. And you will get to the apex. They come together about there. Now the, the sciatic, this nerve comes down just slightly medial to the apex. And then they diverge just into the popliteal fossas. So about two or three centimeters below the apex of the popliteal fossa, we will put our stimulator there and then we're going to see plantar flexion. That is the tibial component of the sciatic nerve. Just follow the, the tibial component down to there and start working your way laterally to the side. Now you'll see we're getting a different twitch to the side. That's the peroneal component. Now the peroneal nerve does go around and supply the top side of the foot. But the peroneal nerve also curls around the fibula head there and if you put it just below the fibula head you'll get the the peroneal nerve there as well. That's a very easy place to get the peroneal nerve. If you want to treat the foot and you can't get the more uh, peripheral nerves to start with because as of course as the nerves go down they get smaller and smaller, more difficult to locate. If you want to treat the foot you can start with the bigger nerves, start up here, keep the tibial stimulation, it's covering most of the foot underneath and then work my way across until I get the tibial approach. If you stimulate those two, you are treating most of the foot. So most of the foot is covered by your sciatic nerve. 